Hi everybody, so it's Jay here from Just Technics. It's been a little while since I've done a video and thought I'd do an update for you regarding these beautiful Reloop RP7000 Mark IIs. So what happened is, uh, just before I moved into my new unit, which as you can see, if I turn the camera around, bits everywhere at the moment, turntables, wrap, more decks in the corner, work area, my cutter, my vinyl printer, there's loads going on. I'm um, still sorting things out, but bought these just before I moved for personal use at home. I've got a pair of uh, 1210 MK3D Japanese imports as well, because obviously I import turntables from Japan. And um, I've decided, well, I've got another, got another pair of MK3Ds in and decided that these could come here um, and they haven't been used. So because they're not being used, they're up for sale. Before I continue this video, for anyone that is interested in a pair of as new Reloop RP7000 Mark IIs, including the original boxes and all the accessories you can see is included, including the cables, RCA cables, etc. £730, uh, including delivery. So anyone in the UK that is interested, £730, and they are yours. But yeah, fantastic turntables, everybody. I really can't fault them in terms of build quality. They are bloody lovely to use. Um, yeah, honestly, really, really nice decks. Heavyweight, great build quality. Backlit buttons, adjustable torque, massive game changer with these Super OEM turntables. That's a bit makes a big difference. Removable target lamp, so you can have, remove that and put whatever colour you want on. I'll change it from another one. Uh, silky smooth pitch sliders, which is used on the Pioneer PLX 1000. The arm tube from the PLX 1000 and the arm assembly from the Stanton Straight 100, sorry, Straight 150 range. So Super OEM hand pin motor, but to use. Very, very nice. This little beauty right here, the torque adjust, is a game changer. You need to use this, guys. Have it on the lowest setting and the brake on the lowest. Makes it a little bit more higher than what you're used to on a Technics, but if you're coming from a pair of Technics SL1210s, 1200 Mark IIs, for an example, you'll feel at home on them. They are very nice decks to use. The only problem that you'll find with any of these Super OEM decks, unfortunately, is that the pitch control is a little bit twitchy. So you get it where you want it and you've got to keep on touching the platter or pushing the record or just moving it. You can't really pitch bend like you normally would do and ride the pitch. It's, a, it's not as for, forgiving, really. So get used to being more hands-on. I mean, there is a mix that I've done on these, nearly an hour long, you mix in hard dance and trance. I'll put that as a link on this video once this has been uploaded so you can all have a bit of a listen. Uh, I think apart from a couple of wobbles on it, they mixed very, very well. So yeah, I really can't fault them for the price. They're fantastic. So for anybody out there that is interested in buying a pair of uh, brand new turntables, by all means, go for these. They whoop the arse off of the Technics Mark 7 range. The Mark 7s are a premium price for not a premium product, whereas these are not a premium price and they're a premium product, if it makes sense. So it's the other way around. And for the price of one, Mark 7, you near enough get a pair of these. And that just hits it home, really. Unless, of course, you want to go for something like this, which is one of my custom SL12, SL1200 Mark MK3D that I've literally just finished. You see the arm on the top and doing something with it. But custom wrap designed by me, including all the graphics. With more videos on these at some point. But um, back onto the reloops. Yep, fantastic turntables. Heavyweight, superb audio quality absolute joy to use and if you're an absolute technics purist you really need to give these a go you'll change your mind they are lovely turntables to use it's about the torque it's just that torque adjustment put it on the lower setting makes a big deal big big difference so that's my honest opinion on these turntables compared to a mark 7 they whoop the arse on them and they look in my honest opinion i think they look better as well they do look better. And when they're brand new out of the box, trust me, they just shine. I mean, you can see they attract, they attract a little bit of dust, as you can see. So if you are going to go for something like this, make sure you buy the additional extras. You can buy proper dust covers for these with the bubble on the top, very sim basically the same as the Technics ones with a bubble, including the hinge kit. And you can buy them separately. They're not very expensive. Makes a big difference. Plus, obviously, you get 78 play, reverse. You can use both as standard without having to do any... Uh, internal toggle switches like on the Mark 7 they're already on there um, plus 8% pitch plus 16 and plus 50 so you've got plenty of range there as well torque if you want it on the higher setting is perfect for scratching even on the lower setting is perfect for scratching these have been set exactly how I used them at home so classic mode and minimum on brake it's as close as you're going to get to a Technics really 
but out of all of them i get asked all the time from many customers which two decks would i buy if i was buying brand new if you really have to buy brand new and you do not want to buy secondhand Technics, these are my go-to turntables. These are the ones that you go for. If you must have pure perfection on the pitch control, they're the ones you go for. So the Technics, okay? Not the Mark Seven. Not the Mark Seven. I will go all out to say they are the worst turntable now. They're the best ones to mix on digitally, but they're the worst quality, and the support from Panasonic has been horrific. So I'm not impressed at all. And you guys have seen my previous videos. But no, excellent decks, lovely quality, heavyweight, great sound, and a joy to use. Unfortunately, they're going to sit here doing nothing. So like I say, it's either they sit here and do nothing or, um, or I sell them and give them to somebody who actually you know, will benefit from using them and use them every day. I think they've had probably that hour's mix that I did. I'll, set, I'll stick a link up for it's probably the longest I think I've used them for. I've owned them since February. So for those that, in fact, yeah, for those that are genuinely interested and in looking for a pair of these, as you can see, apart from a little bit of dust, so I moved down here yesterday, um, apart from a little bit of dust, they are in mint condition as new. They include the original boxes, okay, including the external packaging boxes provided by Reloop. So they're direct from Reloop. I bought these on the, I think it was the 5th of February this year. So I haven't had them for very long. And my, my plans changed. Basically, I've spent an absolute fortune on a vinyl printer. And I decided to uh, make my own custom wraps for a pair of MK3Ds. Had a spare pair of MK3Ds here. So I've now got two pairs of MK3Ds at home. One of them have a, a custom Zoom wrap. So it looks really, really tasty. I've got a video on that at some point for you. But um, yeah, these just were not going to be used, unfortunately. So my, my plans had changed. And I thought, while they're here, we'll do a review on them. And I did a mix on them as well, so you guys could all actually see the big difference. But yeah, gorgeous decks, look great, especially in black. Much better in black than they were in silver. Much, much better. If anyone out there is undecided on what colour to go for, definitely got to be. It's got to be black, 110%. They're nice and shiny. Look at the platters on them. Even the, uh, the target lamps, how shiny they are. I really like these decks, guys. I'm going to start doing custom skins for them at some point as well when I get a bit of time. But yeah, for anyone out there who's interested, 730 quid. They're yours, if you're in the UK, that is. Extra, outside the UK is not going to happen purely because of this whole coronavirus thing that's going on. It has ruined everything. It's disrupted courier services. All international shipping now, as far as I'm concerned, is, is a no-go zone. This is for UK only. A pair of them for 730 quid. I think that's a bloody good price. It's a very fair price considering what I paid for them and when I bought them. And there we go. Any questions? You know how to get a hold of me? Get us on the page if you want, Just Technics on Facebook. Or you can email me, just-technics at outlook.com. Or you can obviously leave me a comment down below. I'll answer any questions that you have regarding this. And as usual, guys, any negative comments, any bad comments or nasty comments will all be removed and you'll be banned from my page permanently. So please do bear that in mind. But thanks for your support as always. There'll be a lot more videos coming now, especially now I'm in the new unit and we're all settled. So uh, just keep on watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Take it easy. I'll speak to you all later.